Hey, hey, welcome to our little midday vinyasa break. 30 minute flow to get your body moving, release your kinks, work out all the stress and clear your mind. So let's go ahead and get started. Take your knees out wide, toes to touch. Extend your arms long, taking it into a child's pose. Just let your forehead rest on your mat. Maybe begin to give a little shift side to side. Massage out your third eye. Either press your palms into the mat, lift your elbows up, or just take it more restorative. Let your arms rest softly on your mat. Start to tune in here. Just take note of maybe how, how many thoughts are running through your mind. What stage your breath is at, how fast you're breathing, start to slow it down. Let your belly relax and slowly start to take inhales up to a count of four, three, two, one, and exhale at a count of four. One, two, three, four. Continue to breathe just like that. Allowing your body to settle into the space, your mind to settle in. And walk your hands over towards the left hand side. Let your body just drape onto your thighs. Stack your right hand over your left if it's okay to deepen. Just a gentle stretch if that causes too much tension. And release the hand back down onto the floor. Send your breath to your right side body, just letting that release. And walk it on over to the other side, all the way to the right. Drape your torso over your right thigh. Maybe stack your left hand on top or just rest it next to your right hand. Allow your body to soften. Just breathe into your left side body. And walk back to center, flip into a tabletop position. Bring your shoulders up over your wrists, your hips up over your knees. Create a nice long flat back, draw your belly in. Create length through the back of your neck as well. Inhale, cow pose, drop your belly down, shut your sit on side, pull your chest back, gaze forward, exhale, cat, press the earth away, draw your tailbone under, shift your gaze back. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat, round and curl. Start to take it at your own pace using breath to movement. Inhale at the top of the cow pose. Exhale at the top of the cat. Maybe you shift forward and back with the cat cow posture. Or maybe side to side. Starting to take note of where you have kinks, warming up your spine, your hips, your shoulders. And find your way back into a tabletop position. We're gonna take the cat pose as you exhale, round through your spine, take it into a circle. Move to the right side with your rib cage, then drop it down into cow as you inhale. Exhale over to the left, round back up into cat. Just take that a couple times. Maybe start to let your shoulders and your head get into it. Going as fast or as slow as you need. Then take it in the other direction. Switch your ribcage to the right as you exhale up into cat. Inhale around to the left, down through cow. And take it into your own movement. Just letting your body play here, maybe bending into the elbows, taking your head around. Helps to reverse that stagnancy from sitting in too long. Really working through the rib cage where our bodies tend to have least amount of movement. 
and come back into your table zone. Tuck your toes underneath, downward facing dog. Press up and back into an inverted knee. Little bend into your knees. This first down dog is fine. Dig all 10 fingers into your mat. Hug your elbows towards each other. Breathe here. Draw the low belly up and in. Rotate your sit bones high. Bend one knee, then the other. Pedal out your dog. Really lean into the outside of your hips here, getting a nice outer leg stretch. And then find stillness right back in the middle once you balance. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, ragdoll, step to the top of your mat, feet at hip width distance apart. Looks just like this. Grab for opposite elbows, let your head hang heavy, shake it out. Maybe let your tail shake a little bit too. Forward and back, deep bend into your knees here. Just releasing out the kinks in your neck and shoulders, feeling the decompression in your low spine, bring a little sway side to side. Now release your fingers, toe heel your feet together. Slight bend into your knees, inhale, rise, one vertebrae at a time. Head last to rise. Draw your shoulders up toward your ears. Roll them down and back. Take it again. Inhale up toward your ears. Exhale down and back. Some of Tiki. Root through the ground. Draw your inner thighs up and together. Hug your core and find that Uddiyana Bandha lock. Really draw the core in. Good. Seal for your tailbone. Inhale, mountain pose. Drop your hands down, out overhead. Soften the shoulders. Rotate your pinkies towards each other. Continue to hug in that Uddiyana Bandha. Nice and strong. Inhale, breath. Exhale, drop your right hand down. Reach your hands up and over to your right side. Nice little side stretch. Maybe shift your gaze upward. Keep your hips and your chest facing forward. Try to pull your left arm back in line with your body as well. Sink into the left hip here. Seal all four corners of your feet down. Inhale, back through center. Release the left arm down. Take a nice inhale breath. Root through your feet. Lengthen through your spine. Exhale, tip it over to the left. Side bend. Shift your gaze upward if it feels okay in your neck. Soften the shoulders away from your ears. Hug your core. Inhale to center. Exhale, standing back and arms to goal post. Lift up through your chest. Shift your hips forward. Root your heels. Send your gaze to the sky. Inhale, mountain pose. Re-extend. Exhale, swan dive. Arms out wide. Lead with your chest. Let your head release. Your fingers release down to your mat. Shake it out again. Inhale, halfway lift, fingertips to your shins, lengthen your spine, pull your core up in and tight, all the way lengthen through the back of your head, deep inhale, exhale, tuck and curl, deep bend to your knees, rise to your toes, round your torso over your thighs, press your fingertips to your mat, take an inhale, breath, press the earth away, pump up between your shoulders. Exhale, release it down, we'll take that two times breaths movement, inhale, mountain pose, rise. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, standing back bend. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, swan dive it out. Inhale, halfway left. Exhale, tuck and curl. Deep inhale, press between the shoulders. Exhale, release it out. Inhale, rise, mountain pose. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, standing back bend. Lift the chest. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, swan back. Inhale, halfway lift. 
Exhale, tuck and curl. Deep inhale, breath. This time on your exhale, step it back into a high plank and hold. This is a little too intense on your wrist. You can either do fists or come down onto your forearms. Lower your hips down, draw your core and press the earth away. Open up through your shoulder blades. Take another inhale here. Exhale, downward facing dog. Press it up and back. Moving into our sun B flow. Inhale, like send your right leg towards the sky. Hips level with each other, heel up, toes down. On your exhale, scorpion tail, bend into your knee. Raise your right hip over your left. Press equally into both hands. Inhale, re-extend three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Stitch forward to high plank. Draw your knee up in towards your chest. Inhale, three-legged dog. Re-extend it. Exhale, low lunge. Step it through nice and slow this first time. Press your fingertips into your mat. Continue to dig the ball down of your back foot in. If you can, lift your chest up off of your thighs. Draw your shoulders away from your ears. Hold here. Nice little stretch to your left hip flexor. Inhale, rise up to crescent lunge. Ground through your feet. Draw your torso back over your hips. Continue to sink into your right thigh. Extend your arms overhead. Pull your core in tight. Breathe here. Inhale, breath. Exhale, seal it down into the mat. Left hip forward, right hip back, so you should still feel a little here. If you're extra tight, you can scoop the back foot in just slightly. So it'll look more like this, but that takes a little pressure off here. The goal is to get your right thigh as parallel to the ground as you can, but take it in stages, just gently stretching each portion of your body. Inhale, breath, hold here. Exhale, warrior two, blossom it open. Find a heel to arch alignment and seal the outer edge of your back foot down into your mat. So you're lifting the back arch, lengthening through the outside of your back leg. Send your arms out long, shift your gaze over your front fingertips nice and strong here, like a big strong warrior. Good. Breathing into it, just this first round, really feeling the alignment, feeling the strength in the posture. Inhale with a reverse warrior, left arm down, right arm high. Keep your shoulders facing towards the sides. You've got a nice stretch through the right side body. Option to wrap the left arm around and reach for your right hip crease here. Just to add a little bit of an extra stretch into this posture. You can only do this if your shoulders are nice and open. You can continue to draw this shoulder away from the ear without contorting or twisting the body too much. Exhale, extended side angle. We're going to hold the bind if you're in it. Draw your right hand towards the ground. Continue to pull this left shoulder down and open. Reaching your hand around, maybe using your fingertips on your right thigh for stability. Good. Inhale, star pose, heels and toes out. Reach the arms upward, open through your chest, lift up. Exhale, prasarita, bringing your arms to tabletop position. Rotate your toes inward towards each other and hinge forward with a nice flat spine. For this first round, shake it out. Maybe reach through your legs, pointing your fingertips away from you, then gently draw your torso in. Now re-extend to a T, inhale, rise. Exhale, warrior two towards the front. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten the front leg, left arm down, right arm high. Shoulders face towards the side of the room. Exhale, chaturanga, take it all the way down, plant your palms, step back to your high plank, hinge forward, exhale, lower halfway, elbows by your sides. Inhale, upward facing dog, tops of your feet, knees lifted, draw your shoulders back. Exhale, downward facing dog, take it to the other side. Inhale, left leg high. Level out your hips, take it under scorpion. Exhale, bend the knee, lift your left hip over your right, press equally through both palms. 
Inhale, re-extend, three-legged up. Exhale, knee to nose, pull it in. Round up through your chest. Inhale, three-legged dog, extend. Exhale, low lunge, step it through. Hold it here. Put your fingertips to your mouth, lift your chest. Look forward. Take the ball on of your back foot into your mat, right hip forward, left hip back. Ground through your feet here, really seal your feet into the mat. Start to lift up, crescent lunge. Arms up overhead, hips still straight towards the front, core tightly engaged. Soften your shoulders away from your ears, breathe. Take another inhale breath here. Exhale, warrior two, I'm going to face you. So left foot forward, heel in line with the arch of your right foot. Lift up, draw the core in, shift your gaze. Breathe here, find your alignment. Again, stepping the back foot in if this is a little too deep. It's working with your body at this stage, trying not to push too hard into the stretch. Good, one more full round of breath. Maybe sink a little lower into your thigh. Inhale, reverse warrior, right arm down, left arm high. Option to take the half bind if you did so on the other side. Draw the right shoulder down the back. Reach for your left hip crease. Lengthen the left arm high rather than letting this flop. Really reach that left arm high. Good. Breathe. Re-engage the bend through that front leg. Continue to seal your feet down nice and strong. Still like that warrior stance. Exhale, extended side angle. Left arm down, hold the bind if you can. Continue to draw your shoulders back. Utilize the leverage of this left arm into your thigh to help open your hips a little deeper if you're craving more of a stretch. And breathe. Inhale, star pose, heels in, toes out. Lift up, arms to the sky. Exhale, cross Rita, arms to a T, parallel your feet, hinge forward. Release your hands and head down toward your mat, shake it up. Send your arms to a T, inhale, rise. Exhale, walk your two to the front. Inhale, reverse triangle, right arm down, left arm high, straight through the front leg. Soften the right shoulder, breathe. And then exhale, Chaturanga, take it all the way through high to low plank. Your variation option to drop down onto the knees. Inhale, upward facing down. Exhale, downward facing dog. We'll take that a little bit faster now. Taking our vinyasa breath movement flow. Inhale, extend your right leg to the sky. Exhale, scorpion tail, stack your hips. Inhale, three leg dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three leg dog. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent, ground and rise. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, star pose, heels in, toes up. Exhale, cross and read up. Bow forward. Inhale, rise. Exhale, warrior two to the front. Inhale, reverse triangle, straight the front leg. Exhale, to the right, take it down. Option for echo bar, right leg lifted. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift leg high. Exhale, scorpion tail, stack your hips. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, low lunge, step it through. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. 
Inhale, reverse layer. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, star pose, heel then toes up. Exhale, cross the Rita, forward fold. Inhale, back to a T rise. Exhale, layer two. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, to the bungo, left leg lifted, equipada. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Last time through, inhale, right leg high. Exhale, scorpion toe. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, low lunge, step through. Inhale, press and hang in there with me. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, star pose, heels in, toes out. Exhale, cross the read about forward. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, left side, left leg high. Exhale, scorpion tail. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, star pose, heels in, toes out. Exhale, cross or Inhale, rise. Exhale, warrior two to the front. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe here, two breaths on your own. Open mouth, exhale. Deep inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale, extend your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge, step it through. Inhale, crescent lunge, we know where to go here. Exhale, revolved crescent, hands through heart center. Left elbow to your right thigh. Option to take it down onto your back knee here. Try to stack your elbows one over the other. Again, start center, lift up off of your thigh as you twist. So your inhale has a nice lengthening through the spine. Exhale, twist into it, press the palms together. Good, inhale, press it, lunge, rise up. We're gonna step it forward into a chair pose. So take an exhale breath here. Inhale, lunge forward, step it into your chair. Hold here, squeeze the inner thighs, pull the core and root your heels down. Take another inhale breath. Exhale, prayer twist, hands to heart center, left elbow to the outside of your right thigh. Keep both knees facing straight forward. Sink your hips down. Good. Beautiful. Then crow pose or side crows in your practice. More than welcome to take it into that. Breathe and twist. Inhale, rise out. Exhale, prayer twist to the other side, hands to heart center. Right elbow to the outside of your left thigh, sink your hips back, weight to your heels. Should be able to wiggle your toes here. Keep your core engaged, just twisting through your ribcage. Inhale, rise back out, chair pose. We're gonna step the right foot back this time. Exhale, all the way back into your lunge. Inhale, breath, hold here. Exhale, revolve, crescent. Right elbow to the outside of your left thigh. Option to sink it down if you did so on the other side. Good, inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, lower it down into a low lunge. Soften down onto your back knee. And sink your right hip forward. 
We're going to take a modified lunge here. Interlace your fingers over your thigh. Press down into it. Draw your shoulders back. You can keep the back foot tucked. Maybe press down into it if this helps to relieve the pressure off of your back knee, or you can stick a pillow or a blanket underneath it there. Breathe, breathe. Check in with yourself. Are you breathing fast? Do you need to slow it down? Bring in awareness. We're going to shift back into your hips, flex through the front foot, half split here. Walk your hands back by your sides, fingertips on your mat. Nice long spine here rather than rounding into it. We're really lengthening and hinging from the hips here. Good, and come back out into your low end. Walk your left foot all the way to the left corner. Soften down onto your forearms or stay on your palms. Taking it to a runner's lunge here. Just let your head hang heavy, soften the shoulders. Sink into your right hip. And then come back up onto your palms. Walk the left foot all the way over into a half pigeon. You're going to sink down onto the left hip. And position yourself so you can sit right over your hips. Lengthen and untuck the back right foot. And when you're ready, soften it forward. And you keep a flex into your right or to your left foot. And stay centered rather than dipping over to the left side. Deep stretch into your hips where we tend to hold a lot of our emotions. So take nice deep breaths and send your exhale into that space, allowing it to release. Stop holding on to things that aren't serving you in this present moment, aren't serving you for your growth, for your mental health. And walk it all the way back up. Tuck your back toe under. Inhale, three legged dogs. You can look like I shake it out. Maybe scorpion or take it all the way to wild. Think if that's in your practice. Falling over to your left foot, opening your chest. And then back into a downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, step it forward, low lunge. Soften down onto your back knee. Taking that modified crescent lunge, walk your hands back onto your thigh, inner legs, throw the shoulders, shoulder blades back. Lift your chest, sink into the left hip here. Mm. Oh, nice. Set it back into half split, sink your hips back, flex your front toes. Try to lengthen through the right leg as much as you can. Send your breath to the areas of tension. Just visualize that tension breaking up with each round of breath you send there. Inhale, bring it back forward. Walk your right foot out to the right side of your mat, creating more space for your body. Right arm to the inside of your leg. Stay right here. Option to soften it down. Runner's lunge. 
Sink into your left tip here. Walk it back up, walk your foot all the way over to the left hand side, half pigeon. Drop your knee down, sink into the left foot. Untuck your toes and slowly walk forward. Center your body right in the center, rather than on the right hip. Flex through your right foot, just breathe. Breathe into that space, visualizing the tension softening. Releasing and exiting your body. Walk your hands back in. Tuck your back toes under. Inhale, three legged up. Shake it up. And downward facing dog. Inhale, hinge forward. Come down onto your knees. And switch it out in front of you. And then scoot your hips forward. Roll all the way to your spine. Draw your knees in. Rock it side to side. And take little circles with your knees, massaging out your low spine, your sacrum. If you feel any areas of tension, feel free to stop. Give it a little semi-circle rock. And then take it to the other direction. Just using your hands to gently guide your knees around. And extend your legs up to the sky, flex your toes, hang out here for just a minute. Let the blood flow come back down into your heart. This also sends soothing sensations to your body, relieves anxiety, just a nice calming stretch. And flex one foot and point the other and switch it out. And take little circles in your ankles. And switch it to the other side. Roll in the opposite direction. And draw the knees back into your chest. Let your knees fall out wide, heels to the sky. Come to the inside or outside of your feet or bottoms of your feet. Happy baby pose. Seal your whole back down. Rock side to side if that was feeling good to you. Maybe extend one leg than the other, both legs at the same time. And then find your way back into a tight little ball. Reach for opposite elbows. Curl up. Squeeze everything in your being. Deep inhale, breath. Roll up the mouth. Exhale, Shavasana. Extend your arms and legs out long. Palm space up to receive more energy in if you're feeling depleted or palms down to ground yourself if you're feeling a little chaotic. You need to stabilize. Feel supported. 
Let all the muscles in your body fall away from the bones. Soften your jaw, soften your eyes, your forehead. Just focus on your breath as it enters and exits your body, just flowing through, releasing any last little bit of stagnancy. And slowly start to wiggle your fingers and toes. Bring a shift of your head from side to side. Extend your arms overhead. Give yourself a nice big full body stretch. Please inhale breath. Feel it through your body. And on your exhale, take it to a supported fetal pose. Knees in toward your chest, lower arms and below, upper arm for support. Just breathe here. Find one thing that you are grateful for today. Let that feeling of gratitude well up within your body. Let every cell feel this gratitude. Creating warmth and wholeness within you. And when you're ready, gently begin to press up. Carry this feeling on with you into the day. Find your way into a seat. I hope that you continue to breathe in that gratitude, feel that sense of love, sense of being. Bring one hand to the heart, one hand to the belly. Continue to sit and feel in this moment. As it fills up and radiates through your body. Thank yourself for taking the time for your practice today. Get some movement in to reset your mind. Honor your body and its needs. Bring your hands to heart center. I thank you for taking time to watch and join in on this movement. Like, comment, share, and I'll see you at another video soon. Come to your third eye center, space of intuition and light and love. Lift up, breathe in. Exhale, bow forward. Namaste.